All right. What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's training. Uh, we are going to be talking about how to crush it on Black Friday and how to do it the right way without turning away any of your friends and without turning your Facebook profile into a billboard. <laughs> so if you would like to learn how to do it and do it right um, and really change, change your business, these are some of the highest uh, buying periods out of the year. So if you do it right, if you put in the work, you can really increase your volume and also re-engage some old customers, some prospects that it hasn't been the right timing, and also uh, some old distributors that have gone dormant. So let's get into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen with you here in just a second. Uh, okay. So let me start this by prefacing that this is going to take work, all right? This is going to take work, and we, I wanted to share this with you guys tonight. Tonight is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, that gives you one day to do this right, okay? Which I believe is enough time, okay? But it's gonna take a lot of focused work, all right? Um, now, if you wanna change your life, change your business, really uh, maximize your sales and maximize uh, the amount of people that you can impact really, then, uh, then just do as much as you can, okay? So that gives you tomorrow, which is Wednesday, uh, to do this. Thursday is Thanksgiving, so you can, you know, maybe work in a few text messages here and there, maybe say happy Thanksgiving to a few people. Um, but I, I don't know, just work it however much that you want to on Thanksgiving, totally up to you. So that's why I wanted it to be tonight, so you at least get one day to do this properly. Um, and you can and you can really maximize this. So, let's talk about what not to do first, okay? Because people out there are doing it wrong, and there's also a lot of people that have a particular viewpoint about network marketers, and they have a right to do so because this is by far the lowest risk, lowest barrier of entry way for the average person to create a to start a business and to create residual income. But on the backside of that, it's uh, it is the easiest way to get in. So it's good and it's bad. Okay. So that means that you get a lot of people that have no idea how to do marketing right. And so they just do what they think is best. And that's what turns a lot of people off. So whenever you start learning how to do it right, that's whenever you start seeing, Oh, okay. That's why, that's why we don't do that. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. All right. <laughs> uh, so here's what not to do. Don't turn your Facebook profile into a catalog of sales and discounts. Okay. You are going to see, I can guarantee you this, you're going to see a lot of amateurs out there that are going to be posting up their, their company's promotions, their company's sales, their company's, um, you know, whatever on, on Facebook. And so what, ha what do you do whenever you go and you see those, those people's um, profiles, okay? Does that really turn you on? Does it create curiosity? Does it spark an interest in you to create a conversation with that person? Like, hey, what are you doing? What is that? Or does it just kind of, do, does it make you scroll past it? You're just like, yeah, it's another one of those things, right? That's usually what happens, okay? So I really encourage you, don't start posting up, oh my gosh, you know, we got a new, and uh, you know, we got a new product coming out. Uh, we got a promotion going on all throughout December. Don't do that kind of stuff because it turns a lot of people off. And then if you do it the wrong way, even still, the next deal that happens is that is what you do is you create uh, you, you give people the power to research your product. So you're just creating um, a bunch of independent researchers. And now you've taken yourself completely out of the picture uh, and they don't need you. So they can do one of two things. They're going to go to either Google and, you know, find something negative about your product or company, and then they're going to turn it off. Okay. Or they're going to go find uh, maybe a cheaper way to buy it, or they're going to find another distributor in the company to buy the product from. And you have no idea Though the amount of people that you have lost that way, you have no idea the amount of money that you've lost that way. So I really encourage you. There's a lot of high level trainers out there teaching. Don't post your, your products or your company, but instead create curiosity. Okay. So the whole goal of it is to not, is to, is to create curiosity versus resistance. Okay. So don't turn your profile into a catalog of sales and discounts. You don't want it to look like a billboard. Okay. So that's first and foremost. Um, remember that you don't forget that you have that you have a normal life. 
okay? Don't forget that you have a normal life as well too, all right? So what I mean by that is don't forget that you have family members coming over. Don't neglect them. And also remember that other people out there, they have family life going on too. So you have to be respectful of their time, of their privacy, and whenever they have things going on and they tell you, I can't really you know, talk right now, you've got to respect that, okay? No big deal, right? Um, number three, don't send out a massive blank email, like blanket email or blanket text to dozens of people. Sometimes people have, you know, hundreds of people in their, uh, in their, uh, what do you call it? Their, uh, their contacts. Don't just blanket send out, um, you know, your link and like the, uh, the discounts, the, the new products, all of that, especially not with your link, uh, to all these people at the same time. It seems spammy. People don't like it. And, um, it's just not a good way to do it. Now it seems, it seems, it's very tempting. I know because it's easy. All it is is one click, you know, just type it up and then one click and boom, you've already talked to a hundred people, but really it's the least effective way to do network marketing, um, period. It really is. So don't, don't do that. I just really encourage you not to do it that way. Um, add value to people's lives. Okay. We're going to talk about another reason why don't do this because people like to give their permission. That's a big deal. Okay. How many times, or how would you like it if you had your mind made up for you? If you had your choice stripped away from you. Okay. If somebody told you that you like, you like this, here's the link, or you're ready to buy this. you need this? Here's the link. Is that going to, you know, are you going to like that person or is that going to turn you off? it's probably going to turn you off. So people like to give their permission. There was a, there was a book and a training written about this. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but Ray Higdon mentioned it. It's the, the art of permission marketing. Okay. Anytime that somebody asks you, uh, they say something like, Hey, you know, I've got this link or I'm sorry, I've got this product that can probably help you out in that situation. Would you like me to send you over the link to it? Okay. They're using permission marketing, right? It's very powerful because that actually is some, it show it gets you and, and also it gets your prospect to give a, a minor um, commitment, a minor yes, right? Now, the right way to do it, you've got to still add value to people's lives. You got to add value, you got to add respect, okay? I'm not sure why this isn't going down. Let me see. Okay, great. You still got to add value to people's lives during this holiday season. Now, I've seen people do it right, I've seen people do this wrong, and I've seen people do this, this season right okay and i've also seen people like Ray, like rachel jackson those of you in our company life Vantage, you know rachel jackson she just hit pro 10 one of the ways that she adds value whenever there's a new product release is she teaches on the benefits of that product and then oh by the way if you want to know more about the product that i use to help with this with these benefits then just reach out to me and let me know okay you don't talk about the product on the video uh and you don't also put it in the comments okay now Here's how to treat your business like a business during the, during this holiday season. Okay. This is, this is literally, I watched the video about an hour ago and I took the notes. So go to your back office and do these things. This is what you can do tonight and you can start working on it tomorrow. Print up these reports. What's really cool about our back office is you can actually go to the, um, detailed, um, it's the detailed summary there or the, no, it's the detailed genealogy and you can, customize it to, uh, to give you all of your active customers. Okay. Now, whenever you do that, I, uh, print that out. Okay. Print that out. Maybe just do a screenshot. Um, but also do one of your active customers, do one of your dropped off customers, and you can kind of go in there and you can, um, you can filter what you want to see. So like if you have, um, if it's towards the end of the month right now, so this makes sense to do this right now. Um, and it's also past the 25th. Go in there in your in one of the filters, and it'll say something like, um, "There is there a minimum order of fit of forty personal volume." Put that one on. If that one is on, it shows you that they're an active customer. Okay. Go ahead. So once you've got that, then print that out or screenshot it, one of the two, and then also take that away. Take away um, the the personal volume and have it only be your customers. Okay. Customers, preferred customers, and retail customers and then print that one off as well, right? Because these are customers that were either 
uh, that they bought something at one time, they showed interest, they bought the product, or they had to drop off the product for one of two reasons, um, or a myriad of reasons. Uh, print all that stuff out, okay? This is a great time to get people re-engaged back with the product, the service, or the opportunity, okay? Also print out the report of your personally enrolled teammates, okay, your business partners, right? The ones that are, that are building the business, share this information with them. The ones that aren't building the business, just reach out to them and say, hey, I hope that you're doing good. Just check a pulse, okay? I hope that you're doing good. It's been a while since we've talked. We've got a new strategy on how to help you make more money for this Christmas season. Let me know if you wanna get more information on that. And that's it, okay? Don't push the people that, ha that haven't been building the business don't push them at all. Just check for a pulse. Let them know you've got a new strategy. Let them know you can send over this video to them. And then just ask if they want to get more information on that. Otherwise, I really encourage you just to check a pulse with them, just to see how they're doing. Don't forget to be a human, okay? Um, so then with the teammates that are building the business, you can ask them, you know, you can, you can share this with them. Hey, we got a great new strategy um, to, to, uh, to, to crush it during this Black Friday. Um, would you like me to send you over that training? Okay, I just watched it, got the notes for you, super easy. Would you like me to send over the training? Again, permission marketing works even with our teammates because people are people, no matter if they're in the business or not, they like to give their permission, right? Okay, also make a, make a list, okay? This one is something that you can't print out from your back office, but number four here, Make a list of the low hanging fruit prospects that they've showed interest in buying the products. Uh, the time, maybe just they haven't been able to buy yet because the timing hasn't been right. Maybe they haven't had the money. Uh, what are, they're the person that has been giving you the excuses for a while, okay? Um, but they have been talking with you and they have expressed some interest to buy at some point. So I would encourage you make a list of those people as well. And we're gonna get to an incredible million dollar script that you can use with your prospects, with your customers, uh, that I'm really excited about. I've already used it and I've already got three people to give me a guess on this. So next, number five, think about going to your back office, um, but you could just think about it. And some, some people, they're, they already know this, but what is your personal business's top selling item? I'm not talking about your team. I'm not talking about life Vantage as a company. I'm talking about your personal business. How? What product do you normally sell the most? Okay. We're going to do something with this later that you're going to love that will bring you automatic people. Okay. So think about that. Let's scoot on down. Um, here we go. Million dollar script. I'm excited about this. Just so you know, guys, this information is coming from uh, one of Ray Higdon's uh, inner circle, 100 K inner circle people, uh, coaches and mentors. Um, that they they know this stuff works okay they they're there for a reason they're six and seven figure earners and they're coaches with ray higdon for a reason so i got this from her and uh and i'm excited about it i've already used it and it works so this is something that can totally change your business if you get out of your head and if you get out of your own way sometimes i know you guys sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy of a good business we don't feel like we're worthy of a, of a big business and sometimes we also get caught up in our own little world of maybe we go to work and we come home and that's enough, okay? But if you get out of your head and if you get out of your way to, to just have this posture, it will do incredible things for you. So to customers, okay? Current customers and for last customers, just slightly adjust it, okay? We'll go over what that looks like here in a second too. So I'm gonna scoot this down. There you go. So this is for customers and customers, laps customers and prospects list. Hey, how have you been? Catch up with them a little bit if you need to. I know that you love our products, so I wanted to reach out to you. We have an exclusive Black Friday sale coming soon. And that word exclusive is very important. I really encourage you not to skip some of these important words, okay? Another important word is VIP, right? We have an exclusive Black Friday sale going, uh, coming soon. I would love to invite you to be on my VIP list. And I added this last part here to get more info, okay? She, on the training, she stopped here at list. 
But I was like, that's a little too vague. I still don't know what the list is for. So if this is a list to get more info, that feels nice and easy to me. That feels like a good yes. And also I know exactly what that list is for. So the reason why I added that is because people love information. Information is free and it's no commitment. Okay. Information is free. It's no commitment. It's a, it's an easy yes. Right. Let me know. The last part here is very important for your posture and for their, um, their stress level. <laughs> Let me know if you would like to take me up on that information on that invitation. If not, no big deal. If not, no big deal. That's how you respect people's privacy. You respect their time. You respect their decision. You respect their, their, their family time and what they want. Okay. Um, that relieves the pressure. Okay. If you've ever felt like, you know, the phone is a hundred pounds, it's because you're not giving them an out. You're putting pressure on them. So if you take away that pressure now, it's no big deal. Right. I love that. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> That's good. So here we go. One more time. Hey, how have you been? I know you love our products. So you're already affirming to them that they love the products. Okay. Um, so I wanted to reach out to you. We have an exclusive Black Friday sale coming soon. I would like to invite you to be on my VIP list to get more information. Let me know if you would like to take me up on that invitation. If not, no big deal. Okay. How do you like that? Is that good or what? That's some good stuff. I know you guys are loving it. <laughs> All right. So here's a couple of reasons why this, why these words are important. Exclusive means it, this may be the only one. Okay. People don't want to miss out on a deal. Everybody wants to be a part of an exclusive VIP list. Okay. If you use the word exclusive, it does a couple of things. It means that it may be the only one. It means that they may get a discount on something that not everybody's going to buy. And it means that, that you thought that they were special. Okay. So VIP also does the same thing. It means that I thought of you, you're going to be at the top of my VIP list. Okay. So here's another important word, invite. I would like to invite you to be part of my VIP list. Okay. This is posture, right? Big posture. The difference between amateurs versus professionals is amateurs need everybody. Professionals invite professionals don't need anybody. Professionals are going to do this, whether or not you come along or, or with me or not. So I'd like to invite you to be on my VIP list to get more information. Okay. Now there are a couple of scenarios, uh, for customers. Maybe some customers are loving the product. Maybe some customers stopped the product because they didn't really love it. Maybe some customers stopped the product because they had, uh, they had, they didn't have enough money. Maybe some prospects are not exactly sure if they want to try their product or not yet. Maybe you've got some prospects that want to join the business, but it hasn't been the right time or they haven't had the money. Okay. So we'll talk about all of that. Now, this is anytime that there's a promotion, anytime that there's something exciting, this gives you a reason to reach out to everybody. Okay. So take advantage of it. You got to give them the opportunity to get them the, to get the information. Otherwise they won't get the information or even worse. They'll get the information from somebody else. <laughs> That's even worse. All right. So I really encourage you because there are people I'll get to this here in a second. Let me go ahead and talk about the lapsed customers. They became lapsed for a reason either money or time money is usually the larger the more frequent reason um, but this could be their opportunity to get re-engaged okay maybe they looked at one of your previous text messages and life happened they got busy and they forgot to text you back so don't worry about any of that all right simply do this for even the people that haven't seen your text message or haven't responded to it. Okay. So again, this is going to take a lot of work. You've got a lot of people to get back in touch with. <laughs> uh, so if this is a lapsed customer, here's a good version for them. Hey, how have you been? I know you've loved our products before and you had to stop for certain reasons. I just wanted to give you the chance to get the benefits again with an exclusive black Friday sale that we have coming up soon. I would like to invite you to be on my VIP list to get more info. Let me know if you would like to take me up on that. If not, no big deal. Okay. Go ahead and screenshot this, uh, this, this script if you need, if you need to, um, you don't have to do this word for word. I encourage you not to sound robotic. If you need to change it a little bit for certain people, 
then by all means, I encourage you to do so. Okay, I'm going to change this a little bit for person to person as well. All right, um, I've sent this out to a few people already, and they they all three of them said yes. So these are the people that you put like at the top of your list whenever news and discounts and promotions drop. Okay, so I recommend. Here's what I did: actually put them on a list. Okay, create a new note in your notes uh, application. Um, you know, Black Friday follow up, Black Friday VIP list. I actually put them on this list because those are the ones that are the low hanging fruit. Those are the ones that are the buyers. All you're doing is you're simply looking for the buyers. Okay, people are ready to buy this time of year. Okay, and Life Vantage has a lot of incredible promotions, Black Friday and all the way through up the 12th of December. Okay, let's see. For current customers, if we have some kind of a sale or discount going on, I don't know all the information just yet. LifeVantage is going to be getting all that info to us uh, here this week and going into December. But if we have any discounts, any coupons or promotions or whatever, um, then you can say, well, all you gotta do is hop into your account. The discount is already applied on this product that you already love, okay? On, on this, uh, this promotion to get two of them and get a third one for free. Okay, it's already applied. All you gotta do is log in to your back office and it's there, okay? Now, let's talk about the people that no response or they haven't looked at your message in a long time, okay? I get that all the time. Um, hey, I wanted to reach out to you again just in, case you just in case you missed my message. I don't want you to miss out. That's the message I'm sending, okay? You gotta remember, this is not about you and it never has been and it never will be. That's how this is, okay? If you think that it's all about me, all about me getting the sale, you're gonna put off the wrong energy, okay? But if you put it off in a way, if you word it in a way, and it's also a mindset too, you gotta be in the mindset of helping others, okay? In order for these messages to come across genuine. So here's an example. I wanted to reach out to you again, just in case you missed my message, okay? I don't want you to think that they, are not responding to you because they think you're bugging them. I don't want you to think that. I don't want you to think that they haven't looked at my message, so I'm, uh, I must not be that important. Don't look at it that way. You have an incredible gift to solve people's problems, okay? So I wanted to reach out to you again, just in case you missed my message. We have an exclusive Black Friday sale coming up soon, and I would like to invite you to be on my VIP list, okay? Let me know if you would like to take me up on that, Invitation, if not, no big deal. And move on, copy and paste this message to your other people that haven't responded to you, okay? Again, go ahead and take a screenshot if you need to. Before we move on, let me move up, boom. Okay, take a screenshot real quick. Got it, moving on in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. All right, so don't overthink this. Don't overthink it, right? Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also I encourage you don't confuse preparing to do the work with doing the work okay preparing to do the work is like we talked about before printing up those reports yes that's needed but it's not doing the work it's not where you're gonna make the money you're gonna make the money in actually texting the people calling the people following up with them that's where the money is made that's doing the work okay you are finding all you're doing, guys, is you're finding the people that are ready to buy. And if they're not ready to buy, don't push them, but keep them in the follow-up loop, okay? The only two reasons that you shouldn't follow up with somebody is if they're rude to you and they disqualified themselves from being on your team or if you see their name in the obituaries, <laughs> if they pass away, right? Um, but other than that, you should continue to follow up with people just to see how they're doing. Wish them a good day. Scroll down your text message list and wish some random prospects, some random friend of yours a good day, okay? Now, in this text message training or in this calling training, you're just finding the people that are ready to buy and remove the pressure, okay? That way they don't feel pressured and also you really honestly know if they're looking to buy or if they're looking to at least get some information on these products and on these discounts and promotions, truly, okay? But if you don't remove the pressure, then it's not gonna go good, okay? So here's what we say for that. Let me know if you wanna take me up on that invitation. If not, no big deal. My favorite line, okay? 
So don't ever think it again, just do it, right? You can call it a holiday guide, okay? Let me know, here, here's how you would word it. Let me know if you would like to, uh, like to get my holiday guide um, for, for, uh, for, for my company's promotions. If not, no big deal, okay? Again, this is not about you. It never has been and it never will be, right? Okay, now, moving on from that. When you find your number one product in your personal business, here's what I encourage you to do. Do a Facebook story, um, go to your Facebook and on your actual, your, your phone. You can't do this on the computer, you have to do it on your phone. Do it on your stories, not, I'd rather you not do it on a post um, because it will stay there. It's actually, for this application, it's better that it's just a 24 hour deal, okay? So you go there and you type in something like this. Would you like to know how this number one product has helped so many people in my business? Okay. And you can do this in a couple of ways. You can take a picture of it. Okay. You can hold up the product, blur, you know, uh, hold your thumb over the product name, take a picture of it. Would you like to know how this number one product has helped so many people in my business? Okay. Or if it's the skincare, if your number one product is the skincare or something, um, do like a video, you know, and it'll be like a, you know, a little time lapse video, one of those boomerang things. Um, how, whatever you want to do, if this is the shampoo, maybe you could take a picture of it. Maybe you could show somebody how to do it real quick. This is just simply a 15 second video, um, in your, in your story, or you could do like I did and you could just have text on there. I think I've got it on here where I can show you what I did. Um, and then put a poll. This last part is very important because it encourages engagement, right? So you can, you can give people two answers, one of two answers, they'll pick it. Yes or yes, with all these exclamation marks, means that you know that you're confident in your product and you're excited about it. So if they just say yes, then great. If they say yes with all these exclamation marks, then that's even better. <laughs> they really wanna be on that list. Um, and uh, that's great. So follow up with that. You gotta click on your stories, you gotta see who said yes, and you gotta send them out a message and say, okay, great, I would love to add you to my list. And here's what I've been doing. I've actually been texting people. Here's step number one. You've got to text LFVN to the number 484848 to get the official word from the company itself, and I will help to fill in the gaps. Okay, that's what I've been doing, and it's been working great. Um, just keep in mind, this is a, a form of marketing. Okay, market, there's a difference between active prospecting and marketing. Okay, marketing, this is passive marketing, okay? Anytime that you do marketing, this is whenever you do something on Facebook or on the interwebs or on YouTube in the hopes that an unnamed individual will reach out to you asking for more information about your product or service, okay? This will generate you leads, okay? This is like extra conversations, but this does not replace active prospecting, okay? Don't get lazy and just put out marketing and hope that your business will build unless that you have 10 to 20 leads coming to you per day you have to be doing prospecting otherwise you'll go broke you will go you know you'll you'll starve <laughs> you'll end up saying that this thing doesn't work for you and ultimately you're not going to reach your goals you're not going to impact people around the world and you're not going to create the time freedom that you want for yourself and for your family so don't get lazy don't just do marketing you have to do both at the same time okay prospecting big deal right i consider leads extra conversations okay i do not rely on leads at all at this point okay i am not to the point yet to where i'm getting a constant stream of leads just yet but in order to get there you have to add value to the world okay that's a that's a different training for a different day um but we can talk about that more in another training video if you want to. Uh, do not, whenever you do get a list of people, do not add these people to a group conversation. That's intellectually lazy. Again, these people, um, they're, they're wanting more information from you, okay? So just take a little bit of time out of your day to message them individually, right? And you can, you can copy and paste if you want, but at least change the name, right? You can copy and paste, change the name, 
take the time to individually message these people. It makes them feel more special, right? If you have some people that they haven't been, that they've been a little nervous about raising their hand for any questions or more information, or you know, they want to they want to order the product, they just don't know how, they will be even less likely to reach out with a question if you put them in a group conversation. Okay, it's just the way it is. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's very comfortable, right? So no group conversations. Be, be a human. Here we go. Be a human. Don't forget how to speak human. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that whenever they go through the network marketing film, that they just forget how to speak human all of a sudden. Like they used to be able to ask for directions, you know, before they got into a company. But then after they got into a company, they, you know, they can't speak how to, you know, how to ask for directions without how do I work in my business opportunity? Or how do I, you know, maybe if I got, if I, you know, if I go down the road to the left, you know, I got to go to a meeting for my team, you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. Um, just be a human, have conversations. Don't forget how to talk human. Um, and keep this in mind. This is big, you guys. There are parents out there, people, parents, moms and dads that are struggling for how are they going to make Christmas special for their kids, okay? And you can help them to make an extra $500 before Christmas is here. All right, you have an answer for them if you're willing to get uncomfortable and do the work, right? Yes, doing the work will make you a little bit uncomfortable, but in your, in your uncomfortable zone, that's where you start to grow, okay? There's no growth in your comfort zone and there's no comfort in your growth zone, right? So I encourage you to desire impact more than you, more than you value your um, public image, okay? If you're willing to just get out there and sometimes be stupid, sometimes make a mistake on your Facebook, um, Facebook uh, live videos. <laughs> you never know who that video is going to impact. And as long as you do that and you don't care about your self image, then you can impact people's lives around the world, okay? So did you guys have any questions? Here we are at the end of this training. I, uh, shoot, my picture's not coming up. Let me, uh, let me see if I can figure out how to get this uh, on here better the example of the facebook live story i'm gonna hop on um let's see how can i do this for you guys do you guys have any questions let me know if you do while i get this thing going if you have any questions either raise your hand or put a comment in the comment section and i should be able to see what your questions are. Um, okay, text notes. Let me go ahead and add this picture in here. Hopefully, this can work. Okay. David. Yes. Uh, that was really good. Thanks. That was really good tips. Thank you. Um, I don't think I have any questions. Um, you said not to do it on your regular Facebook page, but uh, right. Facebook story. Right. Okay. Right. Do you know how to do a Facebook story? Click. Click the story button, right? And yeah. Do. There's a button. button I think I've never done the story. There's a button up in the top left hand corner that says add to story. Yeah. Here's what I did. I put, because if you're, if you're doing a lot of stuff out there on Facebook, people are curious. They, they begin to get curious. And especially if you do it consistently for long enough, people begin to get curious about what the heck are you doing? So go ahead and address that. Curious about what I've, what I've been doing. Wow. I actually misspelled that. <laughs> <laughs> curious about what I'd be doing for people's health. Would you like to be added to my Black Friday VIP discount list? And I got, I got two people to say yes and ex excited yes. So one, I'll be honest, one of these was an old customer. She has already been on Pro Tandem. And another one is, I have no idea who it is at all. So now I have a, a brand new lead that has not been a customer before. How cool is that? That's awesome. Pretty cool. I'm going to watch your video again. I took notes, but I'm just going to go through it again and and uh do that awesome
and awesome job, Dana. She just did an invitation for, uh, to someone that she met in her Uber car. He already watched the ABC primetime and thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Um, did he say yes or no about the, uh, the discounts group, Dana? Let us know. Did anybody else have any questions? Thank you, by the way, for Jane, for that question. Did, did that answer your question? Do you have anything else? No? Okay, good, cool. Awesome. He said yes, but asked how much. This is from Dana. Um, how do you communicate that? So just tell them it's free. It's just free information, okay? Tell them it's free. This is the discounts. This is simply your VIP list to get more information and uh, more information about the promotions, discounts, uh, and new products. So tell them it's free, and I'll put you on that top of that list just to make sure that you're in the loop on all of my company's uh, upcoming promotions and discounts and sales this, this coming up holiday season. Tell them that, okay? Um, again, after he says yes or after anybody says yes, I would say something like, awesome, perfect. Uh, the first step is to, uh, let, me sh let me share with you one of my actual conversations. Chris, if you're watching this, I love you, big guy. Appreciate you for letting us share your, your little text thread here. Uh, okay, here's one of my actual conversations. So here's what I did. I said, hey bro, I hope you're doing good today. I know it just hasn't been the right time for you. And I know you're excited about joining the team and starting a business with us. We have some exclusive deals and a new product happening this holiday season. Would you like to be added to my VIP list to get more info? And he said, sure. I said, okay, so here's what I recommend you do. Okay, rock on. Something like that. Awesome, be excited. Step one is text LFVN to 484848 to get the official word from the company and I'll help to fill in the gaps as Black Friday and Christmas gets closer. So what I just did there was I let him know that you're gonna be getting a lot of this information from LifeVantage, so it's not, all on, it's not all on me, okay? And I do that for you, I want you to follow that because this will help to maximize your time freedom, okay? That way it's not all up to you. <laughs> Life, it, uh, I, I want you to use as many of the tools as provided to you because they're there for a reason. They're there to help you to maximize your time, okay? So here's what I did next. I said, I'll go ahead and share with you what I know so far. I know that there's a new face mask coming out um, this Friday and that there are some other deals happening throughout December. So I, I went ahead and forwarded him over these 12 pictures um, that we got from our Austin LVA uh, group text that we have. If you're in there, then you already have access to this, to these pictures. If you're not, message me through Facebook and I'll send this over to you so you can use it. Okay. And, uh, cool, cool. So that's that. How do I uh, stop sharing? Okay, let's see if I can take another question. Here was it. Dana said he was actually asking about how much do the products cost? How do you communicate the LV price with them uh, without giving too much away, especially before they have a presentation in person with me? I invited him to my opportunity meeting on Sunday. We shall see. Okay, great. So you could do one of two things. He seems like he's going to be more of a customer up front. If he's asking the price already, then you could, you could go ahead and give it to him. Okay. If he's a customer, focused and they ask for the price i go ahead and give it to them you know um if they're talking more about the business that's something that i don't really get into before they look at the invitation i'm oh, sorry before they look at the presentation okay he has already seen the abc primetime news report and he's interested how much is it so you go ahead and tell him if he asked to, if he asked you that before he watched the abc news report i wouldn't give it to him but there's a lot of people that watch that ABC News report and they're like, I want that product. So <laughs> go ahead and make it easy for him to check out. Don't put any roadblocks up for him to, to check out if he's interested. So she said, uh, we shall see. Should I go ahead and give my website? Um, I would ask him, 
Okay, this is a situation where you want to ask him, would you like me to go ahead and send you the link over to the website so that you can get more information and place an order if you want? Okay, this is that permission marketing. Um, and then the other side of it is you could also, because you invited him to the meeting on Sunday, you could withhold that product, that product information and say, all of that information is going to be given to you on Sunday, whenever you come to the meeting. Okay. Now, if he gives you any pushback to that, if he says he can't make it, that's whenever you would go ahead and say, all right, well, would you like me to go ahead and share with you the link to my website so you can get the price and or place an order if you want but I would prioritize getting into the meeting. Okay, hope that helps. Anybody else? These questions are very valuable for anybody else that's watching the recording. So if you have a question, don't be shy. <laughs> Jane, you look like you're about ready to say something. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I'm muted. Okay, what you got? You got to right. you muted. muted, sorry. Um, I was actually, did you listen to Sherry Hollenbach the other night on Michael Huey's? No, I haven't. Was it good? Very good. I love her. That's great. And I was looking at the fact, I mean, some people don't have cameras but she insisted that everybody put their camera on mm -hmm. <laughs> because that way, you know, they're not um, doing something else while they're trying to, while, while they're listening to you. Right, right, right. And I'll tell so you that, what. I, I don't know. That just kind of caught my attention. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm the only one with the camera on. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and I, I was that person that <laughs> always comes in with the camera off. So well, I, I, I'm that kind of person too that, well, not, not on the, not on the camera, but I'm the kind of person that whenever I'm distracted and you're talking to me, I don't always get everything that you say. Dana knows this, but don't make fun of me out here, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> this is a recording. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this information can honestly change your life, you guys. So if you retained anything from this training, then I would love to hear some of your takeaways. I'm going to post this um, in the on YouTube and on the North Texas Life Vantage group. So I would encourage you, just for your own sake, just for your own remembrance, what are some key takeaways for you? Go in on those comments and type that in there just so you can solidify it in your memory. And if you don't have any key takeaways, then maybe that's a sign that you weren't paying attention too much and you need to go back and, and re-listen to this. Because honestly, if you do this stuff, it'll change your business, okay? We talked about a lot of things tonight. We talked about posture, we talked about doing it wrong, we talked about doing it right. Um, we talked about permission marketing. We talked about the difference between amateurs and professionals. Also, we talked about the difference between uh, prospecting and marketing. Okay, all of that stuff is little tidbits with larger, with longer trainings to it. Okay, so by the way, if you have uh, any questions, if you would like to get more training uh, on any of those other topics, then reach out to me, let me know. Maybe put that in the comment section in the, uh, in the North Texas Facebook group or on YouTube, whatever you want. And uh, I'll do my best to, to set one of those up. I've been learning a lot in there from Ray Hagen, you guys. I would honestly recommend that you take a look at rankmakers.com. It's not always open for enrollment, but right now, tonight and tomorrow, it's open for enrollment. It's honestly the best $20 that I spend a month on my business, okay? It's one of the hands down best investments that I make for my business. Can you send your outline to us? Yes, I can. Um, let me see here. How can I share that? Uh, I don't know how I can share it. Advanced files. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I can share this through Google Drive. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to select all, copy. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick Google Drive file and then share that file with you guys. Was this training helpful for you? I hope it was. I put a lot of thought and energy into this, <laughs> stressing about how I was going to take notes and get it all ready for you. Uh, so I hope that this helped you. 
If you just give me about three minutes, file, create a new file. Then I'll have this, all, my outline ready for you guys. While, we're, while I'm doing that, do you have any other questions at all? If you do, unmute yourself or type it in the comments and I shall help. Okay. Um, no folder, new file. No. New folder, new file, more connect my apps. Okay, that's why. Google Doc. Okay. Uh, oh, good goodness. There we go. Kendra, you had a little check mark there. I see that. Does that mean that you have a question or that you just you said yes? Did that mean that you have a question or you were just agreeing with something I said? How can I get this to you? Kendra, this has been so helpful. Apologies and recommend. It's okay. Um, guys, so I think what I'm gonna do here is in order to get you my file, this, the file for this and my notes, um, I will create this little Google document. I'll copy the link to it and I'll post it in the North Texas Life Vantage Facebook group. Is everybody here a part of that? Raise your hand if you're not a part of that. Jane, you're not? Okay. Jane, all you gotta do is go to Facebook and search for North Texas Life Vantage and request to be a part of that. That's a way that you can um, stay in contact with all the North Texas stuff. Um, but that may take a little while for you to get approved. Let me ask you this, how did you hear about this training? Um, I think it's on WhatsApp or uh, Messenger. Messenger. One of those, I get so many of those messages from Kai and Perfect. Um, you're on that same group, I think. Yeah. Perfect. I'll put the link to these notes here, there, sorry, there in the, uh, that messenger group. That, that'll make it go much faster. Okay. okay. All righty. Awesome. You guys, if Thank there are, you. you betcha, you betcha. If you, that was awesome. Thanks. What? That was awesome. Thank you. Cool. You're welcome guys. If you have, if, if you don't have any other questions, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, again, I hope that this helped you. And if you want the, uh, the notes, and if you don't have any way to get it other than the, than the two ways that we talked about, then just reach out to me, message me, and I'll get it over to you personally. So love you guys. I hope that you have a good rest of your night and a good Thanksgiving. I'm excited Thanksgiving is here. Be thankful for something. <laughs> Amen. Love you guys. Thank you. You bet. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Talk to you soon. Bye.